Yeah. I am really yep. interested to see what the ratio of hex on pulse and hex on Ethereum is going to be. Um, Cause I could see it. I wouldn't be surprised if P hex is higher. I wouldn't be surprised if E hex is higher. Like neither one would shock me, but I'm really interested to see what actually happens. Um, because, you know, since it is the same code and the same value proposition, um, it isn't technically arbitrage, but like arbitrage adjacent opportunities where it's like, well, if I can get more T shares on the Pulse chain, I'm just going to throw my money that way because that's more passive income. Um, and then obviously you throw on the X factor mm. of uh, lower fees, which just makes it easier to interact with. That's a point in the PHEX side. Um, but EHEX will always be from a mimetic standpoint, the OG, the real hex, uh, just at least, at least while until the community grows, grows and people are more pulse chain natives versus, uh, X Ethereum natives that have migrated to pulse chain. Um, well, it's, I mean, there's still tons and tons of stakes. It's not, yep. you know, 10, 15 year stakes. So it's not like the EHEX is going to be abandoned. I, I don't think I, it doesn't make any sense. You're just going to merge and stake all your EHEX for what? So it, the people who are there, you know, the people there's like what 200 stakes created every day or something like that. I think I was looking at hex stats, uh, some some big number. Like, wow, that's that's crazy. That many stakes happening. Uh, that, that that's true. So, yeah, I don't know who crazy. is. Uh, it's not like e hex is going away. Why would it? And even Richard said you don't want to see uh, cheap hex on the, on uh, either chain. So yeah, exactly. Um, they have the same value proposition. So if yeah. you can get more on one side than the other, like. Money's flows where it's treated best. And if you can get a better deal on one chain, that's where it's going to go because it does the same thing. 